Welcome back to Haslip CycleWorks. Today, we're going to continue working on our CNC plasma table conversion. Where we left off in part two of the series was bolting our custom brackets from Steve at Mayhem Metalworks to the table. And what I've done since then is taken everything apart, painted it, and I also figured out how to center our rails in our brackets. And to accomplish that, what I've done is welded some coupler nuts, four of them per bracket, in the center of the openings, as you can see, and then just used some stainless set screws inside of the coupler nuts measured everything and made sure that our rails were parallel in equal distance from end to end from the from the table so we got both both sides all set up trued up and everything locked it down with those coupler nuts and these do not move and had to make a modification to this rail it did come all the way over here I cut it a little bit shorter and at a 45 made our plate and threaded the holes on this carriage and made sure it was at a 90 to this rail in that rail and I measured this like three or four times made our little plate welded the rail to the plate and ran our bolts in and that's how she sits now what we're going to be working on today is the electronics and software side to control the table but before we get started on that what I need to do is send out a, a shout out and a huge thank you to Jason over at Code Makes It Go. He graciously gave us our steppers, our controller, our power supply, and a few other parts to control this table. Um, so thank you, Jason. Appreciate that. Between Jason over at Code Makes It Go and Steve at Mayhem Metalworks, this wouldn't be possible. So huge thank you to both of them. And if you're looking for uh, electronics or coding or any of that real techie kind of video content, go check out Jason over at Code Makes It Go. Uh, that's what he's all about. Cool guy, really smart. Videos are pretty awesome. So go check him out. Um, thank you to those two. But let's get into it. Now when it comes to controlling a CNC plasma table, especially the homegrown variety. You've got a lot of options to kind of weed through. Thankfully, most of those decisions were made without me, honestly. The controller that Jason of our code makes it go gave us, he had already had working for a CNC router at some point. Uh, that project got abandoned. And when I told him what I was gonna do, he sent me that controller and the steppers that he already had. So I pretty much had a few pieces of the puzzle already, and that kind of dictated which way I was gonna go. I opted to go the free route for the software, and the software and the controller, we know, based on Jason's experience, runs with Linux CNC. So we've got our computer, and we've got our controller. Uh, Jason also gave us a 24 volt power supply, which works with that controller. And we have our three stepper motors. So at this point, all we gotta do is put it together. Let's get it wired, and hopefully we can get at least one axis to move in this episode. So what I've done is brought my PC and monitor, keyboard, mouse, and all that over to the plasma table. I have my parallel cable running over to the controller, which is now being powered by the 24 volt power supply and 110 volt 
going in. And that's just one of those little metal alarm enclosures that you can find at Lowe's or Home Depot, Amazon, wherever. Everything's powered on. Computer's up, Linux CNC, so I, I think we're good there. No, no smoke came out of anything. Did notice though on the controller, I don't know if you can see, but there's a fuse missing on the x-axis and Jason kind of warned me about that when he gave me this controller he was having some problems with that axis for whatever reason blowing the fuse out and I swapped a, a fuse in it and it immediately blew it out so I think there's something going on with that axis which might be a problem later on maybe not the good thing about that board even though it's been discontinued is almost every module on there can be replaced everything's socketed so Maybe we can get that fixed, maybe not. It's four axis and we only need two. Yeah, we might have to change some of the pinouts or whatever to make it work correctly. Now what I'm going to do is hook up one of the axis. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm gonna go through each one and test it and I'm gonna hook it up to a stepper motor and see if I can get the software the one talk to the controller and the controller to then move the stepper uh, we're not worried about how many steps or anything like that yet I just want to see if I can jog it around if we can get that to work I'll be happy one problem though because this episode is filmed during the coronavirus pandemic I'm having a lot of trouble getting parts that I've ordered a couple weeks ago in and that's our micro switches, that's our cabling, that's our e-stop, uh, a relay, a, a bunch of stuff. We're gonna have to wait on that. Hopefully it doesn't take too much longer, but uh, as of right now, it doesn't look like it's gonna be anytime soon. So we'll get as far as we can, get one of these axes to move, and then off camera, I'll go through and test the other steppers. Fingers crossed. And now I'm in the test axis, and I'm gonna try the jog back and forth and see if it moves. Um, if it does, you should see it. You guys should move with the axis. Haha. <laughs> oh, cool. All right, I'm gonna take you down from there so you can kind of see it. Keep your eye out on this stepper. Of course, I don't have the warp space set up correctly as far as scale or anything, but you can see it moving. I'm gonna call that a success. All right, as you can see, it's kind of crowded. I've got to test the other controller, the other axes on the controller. I have to test each stepper, make sure it works. I gotta come up with uh, a place or a way to mount the PC and the controls somewhere out of the way. Still have to mount the plasma cutter itself. And I've got, like I said, I got some parts coming to help with the control. Uh, e stops, some cables, some micro switches that we'll use as limit switches, some cables for that. Yeah, uh, uh, looks like it's gonna work, guys. I'm pretty excited. Um, this is gonna be awesome. We're gonna be cutting some sweet stuff with this, so I'm fired up. We probably won't do another episode on this until I get all those parts in. Fingers crossed they get here soon. But, uh, that's it. Until next time, get up, get out there, and do it.